I thought chains were a thing of the past, but not in this rehab center in northern Nigeria. People here are chained to the floor to prevent them from being violent. Some have mental illnesses, but many of them are like this because of a specific drug. A deadly, largely hidden epidemic that is sweeping across Nigeria. People all over the world are addicted to cough syrup with codeine. It's a medicine that has become a street drug. A sweet, sweet strawberry taste that makes you high and hooks you. Over time, it will kill you. In just two states, the government says three million bottles are consumed every single day. It's not hard to find Nigeria's boys getting their syrup high. It's not hard to find Nigeria syrup girls either. Even religious women drink it. Vast quantities are seized and destroyed by the government every year. Tons of it in northern Nigeria last year. After buying the syrup, all of it was poured down the drain. We didn't want it to end up on the black market or in the hands of an addict. The company says it's a responsible and compliant business, is reviewing distribution policies and treating our findings with the utmost seriousness. Coding cough syrup can be deadly if you take too much. It can cause organ failure and even schizophrenia. This rehab center in Kano is a place of nightmares. This cough syrup addict was found out of control in the city, arrested and brought into the center a few days before. Staff chained him to a tree. He was too violent to be close to others. They will stay like this for weeks, swarming with flies. No books, no television, nothing. And still, they keep coming. As I'm talking to you, it's alarming. For every week that passes, before we could get maybe two or three within a week, but now we six, seven, eight, 
Sometimes even time within the week. Many of the cough syrup addicts are suffering, shivering and unstable with withdrawal symptoms. In one room, we found a girl of just 16 years. She's been in the center two months, feeling weak and still shaking as the syrup leaves her system. Her message to others is simple. It really breaks my heart to see children like this and see young men like this, honestly. It's really, really bad. And everybody knows the situation of this codeine now. No, it's not a hidden thing. We can't lie to ourselves. And we can't deceive anybody. The truth should be told. And we are saying it out, that this thing is a serious issue. It is biting everybody. It's going from one home to another. If you think you are safe, you are not safe. As I left this place, I understood why some people say cough syrup is killing a generation. <laughs>